You know, there are a lot of people who have helped me with this damn lung thing. And it's because of them I can keep living here at home. There's nothing I want more than to be able to live at home and to have Jan near me. Jan has been such a help throughout this illness. She drives in all of my appointments because I just don't feel comfortable enough to drive anymore. She helps me to stay on track with my medications and reminds me when I'm forgetting things, you know. Just all of those little things add up. She even comes into my appointments now, talks to the doctors and stuff, asks questions so that we know what's going on. And she asks things that I wouldn't even remember to ask. The kids have been great too. They come around and help around the house, mowing the lawn and doing things that I can't do anymore. They've been to a few meetings with the doctor too, you know, making plans for the future and going through my care plan and my thoughts on the sort of care I want for the future. That way, everyone was there. They know what I want. It's been good to have their support too. There's my GP. I see her quite regularly and she helped me to navigate my way through the system and put me in contact with the people that I need to see. You know, the specialist and the physio and people like that. She referred me to the palliative care team a while ago to help me with my long-term breathing, issues that I've been having for years. The physio has helped me with my breathlessness and she gave me some activities to help me pace my movements. I don't know how I would have coped without her. I've been seeing this dietitian about what I eat. He is giving me these extra supplement drinks to build my strength and looked at my diet to make sure I'm getting enough of the right things to heal after my surgery. Dan comes around quite often. He's a palliative care nurse. My GP referred me to the palliative care team. He comes around regularly and checks up on me and sees how I'm coping with doing my day-to-day -day stuff at home. Me and Jan have a phone number and I can ring them at any time. It's good to know that somebody is available, especially if I get pain. It's having bad pain that worries me, but they've been so great, they have shown me loads of ways to manage low pain with changing how I sit, how I use heat packs and stuff, They've also talked to me about all the things I can do if I do get really bad pain. I haven't yet, which is good, but it's reassuring to know that somebody's there anytime and there's a plan that me and Jan know and understand. Dan also got onto my local priest because I was worried Father Michael was thinking I'd given up on God and stuff. I hadn't, you know. I just couldn't get there. I've always felt my faith was important. And when you know that your time could be up soon, it's important to keep your faith strong. It helps when you're feeling a bit down. You know, just to have someone to talk to and to remember what you believe in. Father Michael often brings some of the people from the church with him, which is really nice. There's the surgeons at the hospital too, and all their people. They removed the tumour in my lung. It didn't do much good, but they tried. It's always great seeing the nurses from the unit where I had my treatment. They still remember my name, and they have a good chat with me and Jan and they see we're doing okay when I come in for appointments with my doc. They were excellent when I was in the hospital and made sure I got fixed up after the surgery, but they also made sure that I was coping okay. And they talked about all kinds of things and they made me realise there's much more help out there that we could tap into if we need it. The nurses and the physios saw that I was struggling a bit with my walking when I got a bit tight in my chest, you know? They got this occupational therapist to see me and Jan. He saw how I was going at home and he asked me to do all kinds of strange stuff like getting in and out of the bath, making a sandwich. And, you know, I guess he wanted to see if I could do the basic stuff you do at home to keep going with that stuff you need to do every day. He's a great help. He arranged for all this equipment to be fitted in the house to help me get around. You know, railing is to help me get off the toilet, a toilet chair near my bed so I don't have to walk too far to the dunny if my breathing isn't so good. I've even got a fancy electric bed that helps me sit up when the breathing's a bit difficult, you know?